Hey everybody and welcome back to some more Enter the Gungeon gameplay. We got so close. <laughs> so close next time. I, uh, I always avoid playing as the convict because I think, I don't know, the convict just seems the least exciting to me. A statue in memory of a great bullet. Oh, so that's, that's now that we've gone and seen the parts of the bullet, this just kind of tells us what we need, I guess. Okay, so we know the four parts now. Do I want to spend some hegemony credits with this guy, maybe? AWP off. That's a Counter-Strike reference, so probably a very powerful sniper. Cluster mine. We, need to, we could get the airstrike and the cluster mine. Let's just go big. Let's unlock the op. And we'll head into the gungeon, for better or for worse. Uh, how far or how close are we on Frifel here? Oh, it looks like you finished. That's right, we did finish this last time. The Conqueror returns, soaked in the blood of the enemy, but the hunt goes on. Next challenge is a bit tricky. Those damn wizards hunt gun jurors. Kill 40 of them. So that's what they're called. Gun jurors. Uh, so we did get seven again. I think I'm actually going to go up to the regular hegemony credit shop here. And pick up bloody eye. Sounds good. And we're going to go kick this dude's helmet again because I think it's both funny and maybe interesting. He shows up in the gungeon later if we do this, so... Ha! No, what? Why? Again? Really? Ha <laughs> ha. Not in the mood. All right, well, we'll see you later. All right, so now... Uh, I don't know if it'll happen necessarily on this run, but we'll find that NPC again in the gungeon because he's going to go chase after his helmet that we so just rudely kicked into the gungeon because I was feeling like a rude dude. Uh, we're going to use the sawed off, I think. Uh, oh, don't get hit that early. That would be just brutally embarrassing. I think using the sawed off early is a good idea. And we should try to use the Molotov because I like never use it. And it's a decent active option for us. Especially early here, I feel like it's going to take out enemies pretty effectively. Okay. Okay, I'm a little scared here. Good. Cleared a path. Now we're safe. Relatively, anyway. Um, what can we improve upon for last time? I really feel like overall we played pretty well, obviously, because we very nearly beat the game. Ooh. Um, my performance against the early bosses was definitely lackluster, so I'll be seeking to improve that on this run for sure. And also, fuck cheese. There's a thing about cheese. No, actually, I freaking love cheese. I'm sorry, I take it back. Please don't smite me with lactose intolerance. That would be one of the worst, like, mostly innocuous diseases that I could get, because I do love me some cheese, man. I would be very sad. That'd be a very sad AG if I ended up with lactose intolerant. There was one time when I had uh, some nasty food poisoning, and uh, it was just after eating some some cheese products, and I was worried. I had the uh, the fear of possible, you know, sensitivity to lactate, but thankfully not the case. Uh, we will not open this up. Thankfully, it just turned out to be some uh, some poorly cooked or, or, you know, poorly prepared food. Much better. Uh, what is this? Kneel at the altar. So this, I think, ammo elemental, so I think takes HP or at least damages us to fill up our ammo. Certainly not something we're interested in. If it was like, I think there's one that buffs your damage, and I might even be willing to trade a heart to have buff damage for an entire run. You know, because we don't really know to what degree that damage will be buffed. So it could be valuable. But ammo, especially at this point, and well, especially now that we've filled up our ammo, seems like a little bit of a waste. That really feels like that could be a secret room off in this direction. Let's try it. Nope. Well, I'm willing to get a little bit, uh, as I've become more comfortable with Gungeon, I'm willing to get a little bit... Looser with the blanks in terms of uh, checking for secret rooms. The Molotov is ready again, but I feel like we're coming up on the point where we're going to be nearing the boss fight here. So I'm going to try to hold off for now. Oh, hello. You guys got a little, like, bunker set up here. Isn't that adorable? Okay. 
Got him. More enemies coming in. Get close enough, I can take these guys out in one shot. So, not as... Ooh. Not as good as the crossbow, in my opinion. The sawed off, but it's okay. I maybe should be using my uh, budget revolver a little bit more, but early on, when, with these characters that start with two weapons, I kind of like to use the second weapon just to kind of ensure my own safety, I guess. Exploding barrel there, switch to the budget revolver. Aim kind of sucks, but on easy enemies like this, I probably should be using it. Back up to full HP. It's very nice. Haven't had any armor, so this is just like nothing ever happened on this run. Okay. Nice. Alright, let's use the budget revolver maybe here. Nice. Easy floor so far. Nice kind of settling in. Hmm. The machine pistol is okay. As like a room clearer. I don't know. We'll see. Might be fine with the weapons that we have now. The machine pistol is it's nothing amazing. It's alright though. Nice. Getting right up in their grills, trying to take them to a hotel. Um taking them out quickly there. I think we're done. Do I want the machine pistol to fight the bull? Oh, that looks like this. This looks like primo secret room territory. You know what? I'm even going to go up there and do it. I don't know. I might be wrong, but and I might end up needing this blank, but you know, who dares wins, fortune favors the bold, etc., etc. Womp 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 wow. Uh, we have one key. We're gonna need to probably buy another key, but let's just fight the boss with our sawed off and budget revolver. See how we can do here. It is Gatling Gull, who I consider to be the easiest of the early bosses, I believe. Is that actually gonna hurt you? Nice. His own explosions don't hurt him, which is a little disappointing. Uh, I'd like to kill that before it can hit me. Whoop! Oh! I was too preoccupied with an exploding barrel. Silly me. All right, well, you know what? Now that we've already taken damage, maybe we'll use the budget revolver a bunch here, because if we take a little bit more, it's not the end of the world. And we'll save our, our sawed-off ammo for now. Throw out a, a Molotov there. Try to drag him back through it, maybe even if we can. Uh, not quite, okay. Probably, probably gonna fade away before he could walk through it again, if I had to guess. Yep, that's exactly how that went down. Missing occasionally as I'm focusing more on dodging, but I'd rather miss uh, and do a little less damage, take a little longer than get hit, so yeah, it's a shame. I really should have maybe not worried so much about that barrel and focused on this fight because it's a pretty easy one to flawless. Yeah, Disappointing, but we can recover. Some hegemony credits, fill up our health, and this is the hegemony carbine? Yeah, getting to learn the guns a little bit. Um, so we are going to have to buy a key if we want to go to floor 1.5, and I do, so I shall. Um, and because we did that, we're going to go blow up the chests up here. Use our budget revolver. Blow up this far one here first. Uh, wow. Okay, I did not expect that. We actually got the map. So does the map, look at that, holy shit. Well, shit though, I don't have a blank. Do I have to buy a blank? Let me in, let me in. <laughs> I can't get into this secret room unless I buy a blank. How much does a blank cost? Probably exactly 25, right? 20, it's worth it. Uh, I have to know. It's gotta be here, right? I would imagine, unless, let's be smart, let's just make sure, could it be, like, does it look like it could be off of this room? Probably not, right? If you're thinking, 
Where's a secret room gonna be? I think it's gonna be right here off this library. Fuck! <laughs> All right, well, uh, you know, that could have gone better. Just, a, just an utter waste of resources. Um, nobody's gonna be putting me in charge of balancing their budget anytime soon. Okay, um, well, that is unfortunate, but hopefully the map will continue to help us out on future floors. And both of these chests actually worked out great. Because we got the map out of one and armor out of the other. That is, a definitely an above average haul for shooting chests open. So I'm happy about that. Teleport down and just leave, unfortunately, because, uh, we can't get into that damned secret room. And I just wasted shells for no reason. Uh, what the hell am I doing? I was about to leave. What the fuck is wrong with me? Where's my water barrel? Okay, this is, that was a, a near close call. Just because you botched the secret room doesn't mean you have to botch everything else. Let's go find... Our fireplace is up there. Let's go find our water barrel. I did not see it on my way through the gungeon, but we'll try to figure out where it is. Oh, I used blanks on rooms. If a blank destroyed the water barrel, I'm going to be so mad. Is that a thing? Seems like it might be a thing. Can it be in the fireplace room? I would really like that if it could be. Um, okay. I may have inadvertently destroyed it. It's a possibility that I wouldn't totally rule out. Oh, there it is. Hey-oh. Disaster averted. Okay, we have not utterly botched this floor, just mostly botched. Push that entirely out of the way there. And we're actually going to shove this down this way so that then I can do that. Not quite. All right. Yep. Nailed it. All right, this is the room. Uh, let's go down. Oh, excuse me. Let's go down. And over. And now we should be pretty much good to go. Smash those. I think that's close enough. Indeed. Indeed. Are you shitting me? That was that room? So I couldn't even got in there. Wow. Wow. I didn't think that the map would show us that room. Um, so yeah, so this is just the passageway down to floor 1.5. Just stellar performance all around, gang. Way to be. Here we go. Let's let's recalibrate, reset, plummet down into a pit of despair and, and come out victorious. Okay. Floor one, how did we do? Uh, you know, we're still alive. We're actually doing fairly well from like a weapon standpoint and everything, but from a, um, you know, gungeon logistics standpoint, just a real shit show. What's better as the primary, this or the sawed off? Uh, no. Okay, I think maybe the sawed off. Let's go sawed off. And that room can saw it off, as far as I'm concerned. I'm coming down this way first. Okay. Uh, Tasmanian Devil Man, no. Stop it. Alright, I'm leaving that guy alive. I'm tired of ruthlessly killing a dude who basically poses no threat to me. He can, he can go free. Live long and prosper, my friend. Roll through the poison. See you later, dude. Take care. Oh, get away from the exploding barrels, though. There we go. Oh. Yep. All right, taking some damage here. Not stellar. Clean it up. Stop getting hit. You can, you can come back from this. It's not totally off the rails yet. There, poison yourself. I like that. Uh, excuse me, you don't get poisoned. Because you're a green man, I guess. Green men don't get poisoned. Makes sense. Oh! Get back in the gungeon swing of things. You're just letting yourself get hit. Really just positioning yourself poorly. You can do this. 
did this just mere, like, an hour and a half ago. I had a, a, that last Gungeon run. We did just fine. What we got here? Mimic friendship. I don't really care about that. Um, we might want ammo. We might want the key at some point. We might want the HP at some point. For now, we're just gonna hold out. Oh, God. Yeah. We, we at least hit the... Gunjurer, or whatever it's called. And that disrupts his, like, casting so we can kill these other dudes. There we go. You don't actually have to kill him to be able to do damage to the other guys, but he'll, uh, he'll reset and, and re-enchant them if you don't kill him. Let's go, like, like this, and then, like, that, and then, ha-ha! That was actually pretty satisfying. We got a Molotov. Let's throw this Molotov. Should definitely be using the Molotov in conjunction with the oil barrels. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, yeah, of course, you idiot. Listen, it takes me a little while to process things sometimes. And that's okay. Everyone learns at their own pace. That's what my teachers have always told me. Alright. Let's go with the hegemony carbine for a little bit here. Getting tired of using the sawed off. Are you a mimic? You gonna lick your lips or something? No, all right. Smashy, smashy, and no Molotov ready. Let's take out this barrel so we don't end up getting it shot behind us or something. Uh, carbine, it's just, it seems very weak. Right, you'll blow up probably, right? Wow. Surprisingly resilient to fire, that grenade. Nicely done. Alright. Gone through a bunch of rooms now without getting hit. So hopefully, eventually, this will pay out with some HP for us. Oh! Just a little, always a little late on the dodge roll. Oh, this is, this is far too many enemies. Coming in right up my gullet. I've lost entirely too much HP over the course of this floor. And there's our boss fight. Oh, goody. We'll head down this way. Uh, I think the sawed off has been serving us better than the hegemony carbine. So we'll try to use it instead. I need you to die, though. Okay. Whoop. Good. Uh, it's gonna explode. Yep. Oh, jeez. We're safe. We made it. 51. Where's my shop? There's our armor. Hmm. Health, armor, HP. Let's take the crest. Again, we're not gonna try to deliver the crest. To the next floor, so we might as well take it as just regular armor now. Come back this way. Really like to be able to top off or at least chip up on my HP a little bit. We could buy that half heart from the shop. It's not the worst idea, but I hate buying HP this early because it kind of rules out our possibility of buffing ourselves up um, with like a good gun on one of the floors. Good. Grenade ones, and then the other ones will all go down as well. Okay, we are out of uh, out of sawed off ammo. It's not the worst. The sawed off's not amazing or anything, but it has been our our go to primary for a lot of this floor and the floor previous as well. Floor previous by default, though. Now it's it's actually been our choice. That's an important distinction. Uh, yeah, we'll let you live again. Why not? I don't know. You know, I'm. I'm Changing my philosophy. Live and let live, you know? Maybe Gungeon's a game of karma. Could be. Okay. It's alright. Okay. Sawed off ammo for sure. And we'll roll the sawed off again. Picked up our crest. There are a couple of chests. I'm gonna shoot open the brown chest, I think. I may buy a key to open the green chest. Green chests can be pretty good. We're gonna shoot with the sawed off. 
junk. Hmm. There was a key available, right? Yeah. We could buy the half heart as well if we want it. Let's just buy the key for now. See what's available in here. Hmm. It is a gun, which is what I wanted most of all. Smiley's revolver, all smiles. I believe I had this before. Younger Bullet Brothers handgun is unhelpfully labeled with an S. Ah, well, that is unhelpful. Ah, it seems like it might do a lot of damage. It's got large bullets, which is an indicator of damage to me. Um, do we want to buy the half heart? Blobulord's pretty easy. I think we're just going to go fight him. Let's do it. Okay. Light him on fire. Always advisable. Alright, now we will try not to get hit. Like I said, though, I'm not exactly looking to uh, use the old crest. So, I don't so much care if we lose it. it just It's just nice to have like any other armor. Right, we'll watch to see when. Okay. Watch to see when the Molotov's ready again. You're gone. We are gonna get as far away from you as possible. And start firing again. Nice. Molotov's building up, getting closer at least to being ready. There it is. Throw it. Beautiful. Well done. Get over here, you. You friggin' blob. Get in that fire. Yeah! Okay. Oh! Ha! Shit. <laughs> I did not... They moved differently that time, I swear. Should've used a blank. What the hell's wrong with me? So many blanks. Wasted. Alright, well, we lost our armor. Should get some HP here, though. Oh, just armor again. Let's, uh... Good. Shoot you. I don't think you even do any damage to me, but... Pick up our key... Pick it up for the revolver. And we get the ballot. I don't remember if we know what this does. Let's look. Proof of participation in the democratic process. Vote of confidence. Passive. Voting is cool no matter anyone says. It seems like it does nothing. It might do something, but it, it certainly is not uh, indicated clearly. Uh, I think we'll just head down. And we'll use... I think I'm going to continue to use the sawed off and the hegemony carbine. Maybe we'll try rocking the hegemony carbine again as our primary, but I need to keep in mind that as far as automatic weapons go, it's okay damage, but it's not as good as some of the ones I've had before. I think that might be the, the problem association I'm making. I'm thinking it's going to kill enemies faster than it does, and thus dodging kind of poorly. Well, we found our shop right away. I think the siren might be pretty good. The Winchester rifle, I think, is decent as well. Hmm. The siren is more expensive, which typically, to me, indicates that it's better. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know which of these is more worth our time. We'll think about it. We're probably going to buy at least one of them, maybe both if we can afford them. Uh, free blank is nice. I heard, I don't know if this is true. I had heard that if you get a blank drop, it's more likely to have a secret room inside. So let's just waste this immediately. Nope. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, so you can just prepare for that to continue. We're going to continue to waste blanks as we try to reason it. Well, there's another one. Okay. Thanks, game, I guess. Could add four, maybe, but now we have three again. I wonder, although I wonder... Um, you know, some games, the drops are based on what you have. Like, if you have lower HP, you're more likely to get HP. If you have less blanks, you're more likely to get a blank, etc., etc. I wonder if Gungeon is structured in that way at all, or if it's just totally random. It seems to me so far to be totally random, but human beings are, like, really poor predictors of randomness. You know, you ask people to pick 
random numbers or something like that, they, they perform very, very poorly at a test like that, but... I don't know, because I, I, I haven't noticed that when I'm low on HP, I tend to get HP or anything like that, so I would venture a guess that it's random, but I'm not sure. I need you to, to be dead, please. Hate this enemy. Oh my god. Be cool. No, why would you get so close to a man who snipes? Why would you do that? Alright, we lost our armor. Uh, I actually performed pretty well against that first guy and then got hit by the sniper, unfortunately. Uh, still a lot of floor to explore here. We definitely, I don't think, want to go fight the boss yet. Uh, but I am a little concerned for my safety. Okay. Very nearly got myself into trouble there again, getting very close to the enemy. Uh, this is not bad. Kind of clear a path for ourselves to shoot down here. Several books we're fighting. This is an interesting room layout that I haven't seen yet, but I don't have all that much time in Gungeon yet, so it's not necessarily surprising. Alright, just if I could get some health drops, that would be that would be over the moon. Oh god! What have I done? Why would you almost hit yourself with a Molotov? Shit 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 shit. We're alive. <laughs> okay. We're just lit on fire. I heard the fire noise. Sometimes that happens. Why does it happen? I heard the fire noise, and I don't know what went ablaze. Is there a full heart? Anything? Armor? If we buy the Winchester, do we have enough for the armor? Six, that's what? 30? 30, 36. And 26 is 62. We would have enough. This would be 72. Let's buy the armor and the Winchester rifle. Sorry, I think this is a good gun. I think I recall this gun, and it's very powerful. Right, there's where we would put our old crest. It's okay. Let's go over this way. I think this gun does some pretty good work on individual enemies. Oh! Doesn't fire all that fast. Shit. Stop getting hit, man! Fires decently fast, though, now that I take a second look at it. Oh, HP. My my favorite. Uh, all right, we should not be so desperately in need of this. Do we want to use the Winchester rifle as our room clearer? I don't know. It's not that strong, to be honest. Good. Okay. Okay. Don't know if this is better against rooms or bosses or neither. Okay, don't knock me into the abyss! Shit. That's exactly what I was worried about. Don't even try it. I need HP, yo. I'm in desperate need of HP, even though I just got some a minute ago. Um, Let's go Hegemony Carbine. I'm gonna use Smiley's revolver because desperate times, you know. Has kind of a short range. Alright, hide. Good. Don't get yourself hit by this Joker. Oh, it's the greatest. Uh. Winchester ammo? Sure. Let's go Winchester rifle. Smiley's will still use Smiley's revolver because I've been playing like an idiot. Okay, there's a chest. Are you a mimic? Show yourself. No, alright, I'll open it. Oh, we just unlocked this. Bloody eye? Slower enemy bullets. That seems great. <laughs> Sign me up. Slows enemy projectiles. This intoxicating substance grants the user vision that slows down enemy bullet speeds. Gun cultists use it in their dark rituals, hoping to gain the favor of the Order of the True Gun. So wait, was it cursed? I didn't see a curse thing pop up. It does seem like a passive. It's not an active item, so I'm happy about that. I wouldn't be surprised if it was active. You know, you'd slow bullets for a 
certain time period or something, but if it's just they're always a little slower, I am totally game. All right, I am going to try to see the rest of this floor before we leave. Flip more tables all the time. Get away from me. Nice. A little bit more money. Are you a mimic? No. Mm, we probably aren't going to want to use a key on it. So we'll just blow it up. Probably shouldn't have used the Smiley's revolver bullets necessarily to, to shoot that open, but it's okay. It's our old crest room. Just checking again for a uh, secret room. I think three blanks like is where like I think I'll use two on a boss fight. I probably will not end up using three. All right, I think we got the weapons we want out, and we'll use Smiley's revolver primarily. The Gorgon is manageable with the HP that we have, I think. Now, will we manage it? That's another question. Uh, but we're going to try. Does the Molotov do shit in this room? No, of course not. It's a room full of water, you idiot. Well, I had to try. Our attacks are pretty easy to dodge, as you're kind of seeing here. We've got blanks, so don't be afraid to use them. That one is a little bit annoying because that will freeze you and not allow you to do any damage. Good time to use a blank, I think. Nice. Keep your distance. I'd like to be able to see her shots. Oh, this is a bad idea, though. Ah! Definitely a good time to use a blank. Uh, just to make sure we survive here. No blanks left. I'm scared. Oh! Oh, I clenched. I'm clenched. I'm fully clenched. Big time. Okay, we got frozen. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! No! right into it oh dying on the gorgon is embarrassing but uh we're gonna continue next episode i hope you enjoyed this one uh if you did leave a like or a comment it always helps me out a lot and if you want to see more enter the gungeon gameplay and other content when it comes out of my channel please subscribe i'm accidental grenade and thank you so much for watching